What's up folks, so today I'm going to show you three different approaches to the backing track you just heard me play, so be sure and stay tuned. So welcome back to another episode of Jermaine Morgan TV. If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video and subscribing. If you haven't already done that, go ahead and press that subscribe button now. Go ahead and hit the bell notification. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I want to send out a huge thank you to everybody that's been supporting this channel by purchasing the merchandise that you see below this video. I really appreciate it. It helps me to continue to create great content for you guys and help you and give you the things that you need that will continue to unlock your sound. So jumping right into this track today, I wanted to do something. I put up a video a week ago, man, and y'all have blown me away with your response to this video. And I wanted to follow it up with another video that's talking a little bit more about the gospel music, that gospel sound, different approaches to the walking bass line idea. So this particular lesson, we're not talking exclusively about walking bass lines, but I want to give you guys some different type of approaches that we can take when it comes to building these type of bass lines. So in this track that you heard me playing, this is Bird down uh, I had the pleasure of recording with the legendary Jonathan DuBose Jr. on guitar and my friend Colby Strawler on drums and we did this track not too long ago as a matter of fact and I will put the link so you can check out the full track but I did do a backing track for you to play to that you hear me playing to now and I want to break down some different approaches how you could get into it some different ways you can look at this track just in case you find yourself in a musical situation that they're playing something similar you have more than one idea to pull from I did a poll on Facebook uh, a few days ago and I got some good responses back about some trouble spots bass players were having as a concern their bass playing and one of the things people were talking about was finding that stuff to fill in those empty spots or coming up with different bass lines and that type of stuff so I want to give you some tools that you can use to help you start building some better gospel bass lines so the first approach I want to look at is just like really 30s big band style approach a good song that comes to mind is the sing 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 by Benny Goodman I tell you how you probably heard it if you ever seen that chips ahoy commercial that particular bass line that's a particular approach that you could take for this particular groove just take a listen to it real quick So you can hear with that, of course it's mixed with several other different things and that's the thing about the lesson today that I'm gonna be showing you. All of these approaches have a little bit of something else in them but it's the initial approach that catches your attention. So one of the things I'm listening for is how the drummer is playing this particular groove. Now that's why this particular approach will work. If you listen to what he's doing with this drum pattern, let's take a listen to it real quick. And if you listen to it, it have this really New Orleans kind of thing going on. I think I said that right, New Orleans. <laughs> it got this thing going on that, that makes you kind of want to dance. So I listen to what he's doing with his snare and with his bass drum, and it makes me think of that old school 30s style big band approach. And that's what makes me go, you know. So now, because it's slightly different, I can't, because that, that original song goes boom, boom, boom. And I don't want to do that because it's slightly different from this pattern. So I just adjust a few things and kind of make it work for this. So You 
see what I'm doing? I'm just slightly adjusting it just so I can make it fit over what he's playing. Now, I can take a completely different approach to what he's doing and completely follow the bass drum so I could do this, this particular pattern here. So let's go. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So now I just adjusted like the back end of that bass line and that's not even my second approach, but you can see how just changing one little variation can change the entire feel of what, what it is we're doing and that comes from paying attention to what the drums is doing. Now my second approach that I would take with this would be the approach that I played on the actual record. I would call that just a very simple approach. Now you can think of this as uh, quartet, gospel quartet, or you can think of it as country and it's just playing the one and the five. Just straight quarter, so let's do that in context. Alright, and so you can hear what I'm doing there. It's just a really simple one, five, one, five. I'm saying so I'm just really just following the chord progression and if you see the chord progression once you get the backing track for this song or once you listen to the backing track again I have the chord progression listed I have the notes and I have the numbers so you can see what's happening so you know we're on that G I forgot to mention we're in the key of G so we're on that one so let's follow it I'll show you guys again the chord progression just in case somebody is lost here we go simple and you can follow along with looking at the chord changes and that type of thing all right and so the last thing I want to talk about is the walking bass approach we can always take that walking bass approach following those same chord progressions as I talked about on the lesson last week and I will link that lesson so you can have a better idea of what I'm talking about when I talk about the walking bass line approach and basically that's making sure we're keeping that consistent pulse throughout the song so And I break down in detail how you can do those half steps. I don't want to repeat it for the sake of people who watched the video on last week. You know this is the same stuff in terms of approaching this bass line. It's almost identical in terms of the chord progression. So I just want to show you in context how we could approach it. So as you can hear, we're just keeping that constant pulse. And so I'll slow that down just in case some of my beginner players didn't catch all that. I'll slow it down. So what we're doing is over the one, chromatic, two, five, one, four, five, six, two, five, one. And I'm just keeping those notes consistently going. If you need to slow that down, remember, go back to the video from last week that I linked and you can see how we break that down and get a little bit more into detail. So now after having done this, we can take all three of them and mesh them all together and create something that gives us a really groovy bass line. So let's try it again with all three of them mixed together. So you can hear there where I was mixing just a little bit of each one to create my own little thing. Just pick the best thing that works for the scenario. And the thing I always mention is you always want to be listening to what's going on around you because that can always set the stage 
for what type of approach would be the best one to fit this situation that you're playing in. Because as you listen to this song, and I really encourage you guys to go and listen to it, download it, whatever you need to do, but it's here available on YouTube as well. But as you're listening to this song, you'll see throughout the song, we started with this really simple approach, and then I went into this walking bass thing, and towards the middle of the song, it switched to something else completely different. And the song just morphed it and just grew from this really traditional style to this really contemporary style towards the end. And you gotta listen to it all the way through to hear all the detail of what I'm talking about. This backing track doesn't give you all the details, so you have to listen to the original song but we were able to go into the different sections of the song and you have to do that with just listening to everything that's going on around you as i stressed so many times before so listen guys that's pretty much it for this lesson if you want to hang around while we dig a little bit more into the detail of building some of these baselines in the monthly membership i encourage you to become a member if you haven't done that already i will put that link below if you want to look at that and remember check out some of the merch below if you haven't already grabbed yours also if you're missing out on the grooves and motivation live talks every tuesday morning at 7 30 EST, you should turn on the notifications. I don't want you to miss any of those. It's kind of early for most people, but if you want to catch me, if you want to talk to me, ask me any questions, I am here every Tuesday morning, so I look forward to seeing you guys. Other than that, I'm out. Take care. Peace.